SBR videos are sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. Hello and welcome to World Sports Weekly. I'm your host, Natalie Rydstrom. I'm joined today by Richard O'Hagan, and we're going to be previewing some of the World Cup qualifying fixtures taking place this weekend. Richard, welcome back. Hi, Natalie. It's good to be back. Now, let's take a look at the, the uh, match Estonia versus Turkey from Group D. Now, Turkey are the favourites in this match. They're priced at 1.4, and the home team are priced at 8.5 with Bet365. Now, this is an important game for Turkey, as, as the three points will put them ahead of second place Hungary, who at the moment, moment are only one point ahead of them. Now, their final group match will be in the Netherlands, where they lost 2-0 away. So, this win will be very important. Estonia are down in fifth place. They're, they've got seven points, and they know they have no chance of qualifying through to the knockout stages. So what can we expect from both sides, starting with the home team? Well, I think the Estonians will be buoyed by having had a couple of good results in the last round of matches, particularly against the Dutch, who they drew to all with. So they're going to be going very confidently into this game. They know they've got nothing to lose. They can go out, they can play as they like. If they lose, it's not going to affect their standing in the group. If they win, it's not going to affect their standing in the group. So compare that to Turkey who have got to go all out to try to win this. They can't afford to be reckless, but they've got to take away three points. And I think it's going to be difficult for them because they're going to be up against a side with a really fervent support behind them, trying to actually break them down and trying to get a win just to round off a competition. But for them, it's actually been moderately successful by their standards. OK, Turkey are a strong side and they certainly do play very well under pressure. Um, now, this game could go either way. It could go the, the over or the under, two and a half goals. But which one are you leaning towards? I'm leaning towards it being over. I think this game could quite easily work out to be a two-all draw. So my view is go for the overs on this one. And you don't think as well when you've got sort of two teams that I think we we're going to see a lot of attack from here, you don't think that will kind of cancel each other out and we could see the under two and a half? Um, I think you've got two teams that are going to have to go out there and be quite attack-minded. And I think that tends towards more shots on goal, therefore more opportunities to score. So if, if you've got two sides that are, are really going to go for it, I wouldn't be betting the unders. I'd say if you were looking at teams that are known for very much defensive play when they need to win a game and for trying to hit sides on the break, then that might be where you were going to look. But Turkey aren't known for that. Turkey are much more spirited, much more attacking. Their best players are all attacking midfielders or forwards. So that's where their talents lie. That's what they're going to play to. OK, interesting there. Um, and what, what is your pick for this match, Richard? My pick is for the game to be a draw. It's odds of around about 4.5, 4.6. So it's a decent return on what is a very likely option. Okay, interesting pick there, Richard. Richard, thanks for joining us. You're welcome.